my my partner strikes my partner strikes Shuman. Shuman. This is what I'm looking for. Again, slowly, slowly. I'm here. Yeah. yeah. This is what I'm looking for. So I need to be moving off the line of attack and catching in here. So stop when I get this in place. One. So I'm off the line and I made contact. Again. I'm off the line, I made contact. Strike. Off the line, contact. So, one, two. This is a, an exercise in my uh, distance making. If you look at this now, you, you'll see I'm underextended. Can you see it in the body? I'm underextended. And here, I'm overextended. This is too much. I need to be in a position where I can, I'm nice and comfortable and I've got a bit of pushing power. Okay, strike, two, here. Okay, here, one, two. There. Strike, show man. One, two. Okay, one, two. Okay, practice that, please. One jaw yeah, exercises. If you stand with the jaw like this. So, yeah. Can you see the way I'm standing? Yeah. Can you replicate that? Yeah. Left foot forward. <coughs> Left hand gently on the top. Uh, sorry, right hand. Your right hand on the top. And your left hand like this. Like this. That's it. <coughs> so you're going to get the feeling where you're not going to stab at me. Right. You're just going to lift the jaw and I'm going to come onto it. Right. So when I strike, you're going to go for that target there. There, go. There. You're just lifting it. Drop it back, go back. There, that's nice. Okay. Again. There. Again. There, so that stops me. So you want to be in a position, I'm just going to put you under, over, under extended. So if you wanted to push me. It's all about distance. Yeah. Get it in a good posture, yeah. yeah. There. So this is where I ended up. Now you can push. Push me back. Push me back. Miss the target and you're collecting me. Again.
just moving off the line. Just moving off the line. That's it. Lovely. One, two. Excellent. One, two. Excellent there. One, two. Tammy. Technique. Tammy. Technique. So this is the same as what we're doing, we're moving off the line just the same. And then applying Ikkyo. But look at how much work I've got to do to make a Temi. One, I've got to get right off the line and right under them, under here. So this won't work. So I've doubled up. So you want a good straight arm because the jaw is straight here. One, two. Again, show me. One, two. Okay? Good. Okay. Just let it drift from there to there, yeah. and roll it over. Yeah. Pick up the elbow. Oh, that's right. it. Okay. Okay. So we're doing too much work. Yeah. So yeah. it's. Once I've got it there. Yeah. Yeah. So off the tummy and then just drift. So stay in right posture. Stay in right posture. Stay in right posture. One. One. Stay in right posture. On the elbow. That's it. Good. Look good. Well, even numbers in a minute. Even numbers in a minute. Okay. Go on the other side. So before I'm on this side. Yeah. Now I'm coming on this side. This side. So this is a Remy. Balance loss. 
technique. Again, so before I'm coming on this side, definitely the right side, this time I'm coming on the left side with a temi. And then move to the rear. I'm moving to the left. So if I just turn this way, I want you to see this arm here. Make ski here. Here. This is stays connected at this point. Alright? And then it rolls over the top. From here to the top. As I move to the back. This side. So I'm moving to the right and making a tummy with my right. This is staying connected. I'm moving to the right, making a tummy. This is staying connected. I've moved to the back, I've broken the balance, and I've controlled the head. Again. The tummy, stay connected with this arm. Stay connected with this arm. If I disconnect, anything could happen from there to there. So I'm staying put. One, two. I'm staying put here to here. And back. If I, if I disconnect, watch the tummy. Disconnect. Oops. Counted. So I'm staying connected at this point here to here, here to here, here to here. Ski, a temi, staying connected here. Throw with the head. Again, off the line, a temi, staying connected here. This hand comes up like a wave and then down. If I, if I do it incorrectly and just go for the neck, this is not a throw. This is just a, a throw chop. I haven't controlled his body. I've controlled his head. I've controlled his body. So ski, off the line of Tammy, stay connected here, move to the rear, make a wave. Off the line, ski, stay connected here, control the head and neck, and make a wave. Okay? Good.
land for Miami. 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 Here. Okay. Here. And then out. One. Echo with the jaw. We were practicing this about a year ago. Echo with the jaw. One. Take the jaw down to the mat. Slide this hand down to the centre point and then place this on the elbow. Move out. Bring it free. When he starts to stand up, take the jaw and cut. Describe a circle, take it down to the mat, slide the back hand, slide the top hand down to the centre, then on the elbow. So it's one, two, one, two. Then you need to break balance, bring it out. Bring it free, pick up the bottom when he recovers, cut him back. Drive a circle, slide, pick up, bounce loss, break it off, and cut. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Break it free. Pick it up. Good. Down. Slide, pick up, balance loss. You're still connected, break it off. You're still connected, you're still connected. Break it off. Okay, good. Down the ground, slide, elbow, break balance, break it free, pick up the bottom of the jaw and cut, that's it. <laughs>
Okay, Kaitanagi means rotary throw. Kaitan meaning wheel. Nagi means throw. Kaitan, Nagi. Or big wheel throw is sometimes called from second form. Come out, turn your body, cut right down to the mat, and then throw. Tammy, come out, turn, cut down to the mat, pick up the neck, and throw across the body. You don't have to roll. If you can't roll yet, it's all right. You just stop at the point of throw. A Tammy, again, this is important. A Tammy. So I'm, I'm making a Tammy, and I'm moving off the line of attack. See this acute angle here. This is staying extended while I turn. It's staying extended while I turn. Cut down. This goes across the body. This arm is pushed across the body. That's the feeling. It's not through the head. You're not going anywhere. It's going, it's going across the body. See how it's twisted his body. Off the line of Tammy. Keep this arm extended. Don't collapse it. Don't collapse this arm. Cut to the mat. I've actually touched the surface of the mat. He's down, arm up. Again, Tammy, balance loss. That leg should be off the ground. Keep this extended. If you collapse here, you can feel the difference. There's nothing there, is there? You can just pull me back at this point. So this is important that this stays extended. Right throughout, right throughout this turn, to cut the mat, cutting the mat. He's down, I've come up, I'll step forward. Mm. Okay, basic, off the line. Keep this extended, turn. Keep it extended, cut the mat. He's down, I've come up. Throw, last thing. So, if you're not happy about rolling, we stop at this point. One, two, three, that's it. Stop at that point. So you know you can throw if you want to. You've established balance loss here, look. Stop it there. Okay, go. <laughs> cut the mat, David. Cut the mat with this hand. Place your right hand on the back of his neck. Ah, got it. Right. Place this hand on the back of his neck. And this arm goes across the body. Yeah. Then you can just throw from that point. <laughs> Under, cut the mat, yeah. pick up the back of the neck with this hand, push that arm across the body right. and you throw. So the feeling there, David, is, is that grip. All right. Can you feel the tension there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. That's it. Um, yeah. He's lost his. Oh, oh, he's lost it. Oh. He's lost his balance. Look. So will be that. No, it won't. No, you're going to push, push across the body. All oh, right. You're going to push across the body that way.
it doesn't, it's almost preventing them from doing a roll. And it doesn't, doesn't fit. If you're kind, you let them do a roll, so it's not the face. Practice. So instead of me going through like this and turning and cutting the mat, I'm going to make a, a 10 car move first, bring them round, then go under, and then cut the mat. And instead of kindly throwing them this way, I'm going to step behind them and make them pivot roll, which is quite awkward for them. So we're doing a 10 car beginning, one, under, cut, and a 10 can end. Ten can beginning, Tammy, cut, and a 10 can end. So just as I get to this point here, instead of throwing them this way, I'm moving the foot to the side. I'm moving the foot to the side and then turning my hips forcing him to turn on a pivot. Ten can beginning, cut, ten can end. End it in posture. Good, thank you. And then throw. Okay, move your right leg across to there, slide it across, take the weight on it and pivot this way, oh, and let him go, that's it, that's it. Move your right foot across and then pivot this way. And then let him go. That's it. You know when you do your 10 can exercise, do that first. Do that. Do your 10 can exercise. Now bring them round in front of you. Bring them round in front of you now. Now go under the arm. Cut to the floor. With your right leg, slush it over to there and then rotate one. That's lovely, that's it. That's it. Kiten, Kiten with the jaw. Ayami. Basic Kiten. This is the same move that we've just done, only it's with the jaw. I make what look like a kyo, and then I just change it to here.
rotation down to the mat, down to the mat, down to the mat. Then I just move across to the other side. More advanced, I go under and through. Turn car under. Cut. Oh. <laughs> Think on, under, throw, basic, one, two, basic, one, two, more advanced, under, turn, throw, under, down to the mat, and throw. Tank on, round, throw. Okay, with the jaw, good. And then use that as a push. Yeah. See the lever? Yeah. There's your kite in there, off he goes. Let me show you again. So I've gone under. This is what we did with the hand, didn't we? We cut down to the mat. I changed grip and moved to the other side of the jaw. Don't make you change grip, did you? Okay, ready? Go under. Under, under, under the jaw. Turn, take it down to the mat. Change grip. Yes, move to this side of the jaw and throw. Yeah. So once you've gone, you've gone under, here, change grip, then change grip. Change grip, then change grip. Yeah, one, one, two. It's the same technique. So once it's cut to the floor, once it's release, once it's cut to the floor, change grip, change grip, move to this side, throw. One, change grip, change grip, move to this side and throw. Okay, let's have a look. So once you've got, once you've taken it down to the floor, yeah, change grip, change grip, move to the other side of the jaw and throw. So you've got, you've got to here. Can you see? Change grip, change grip. So I've ch changed the grip there and I've changed the grip there and I've moved to this side and I've thrown across the body. Under, yeah. Under, cut to the floor. Change grip, change grip. Move to this side. Yeah. Move to this side. So yeah, yeah. You move to this side. Yeah. So you come across here, and you push it down to the mat. Change grip. Yes. Move to this side of the jaw.
talking in the ranks. Huh? Can you imagine that happening in the 60s and 70s? Not really. Huh? Okay, Ayami. Ayami. Cut. Down. Cut across and collapse the center and then control the elbow. Nice rotation circle. Cut down and collapse the elbow. One, two, one, two, three, one, two, three. Obviously, this practice relies on your uki staying connected to you so you can perfect the technique. You can always trap his fingers and make sure that he stays connected. So I'll trap his fingers and then the elbow. One. Two, three. One, two, three. Let's practice that for now. Okay, take it easy on your wrists now. So it's cross hand attack. It's okay. cross hand attack. That's outside connection. You want cross hand attack. Okay, round and cut. That's it. Yeah, yeah. So what we're practicing is the, the application of the law. Palms coming up and then palm comes down. Palm comes up, and then palm comes down. And then just to float the elbow down. He's already gone down, hasn't he? He's already gone down with the lock. He's gone down with the lock, so keep him down. Yeah. Take it easy on the lock, because it's... Yeah, I know it's nasty. He's already gone down, and then float the elbow. That's it. Not too much, David, just enough. Yeah. That's it. So, one. So, see how it's more effective if you can get the elbow bent. It is effective against a straight arm, but it's easier if it's bent, look. Yeah, I'm, I'm bending it. And then I'm cutting down. Can you feel it, David? You watch it, will you? Yeah. So this is this lock. 